In this video we are still in the chapter of vector spaces. Uh, in the previous video we were checking if a given set and a given field if it was a vector space and we are going to do the same on this uh, video. So we have vector spaces over a field, right? And now we have uh, R2 over the fields of the reals. Okay, with these given uh, operations, AB plus CD is equal to A plus C and B plus D. And K, where K is a scalar, right, so these are vectors in the vector field, right, in R2, of course, and K is a scalar. K times AB is equal to K squared A k squared b. OK, we are going to check if this is a vector space. So we go through the axioms one by one. And I'm going to use again r as 1, s as 2. These are scalars, right, from the reals. And I'm going to pick this very handy vector 3, 4. OK. And let us see if uh, it fulfills all the axioms. OK, so I'm going directly to R plus S times uh, V. I'm going to see what this is. And of course, this should be the same as, in order to be a vector space, as RV plus SV. OK, so this is one of the axioms. The, those two, they should be equal. OK, so R is uh, 1, right? 1 plus 2 times 3, 4. That's the same as 3 times 3, 4. OK, and we look at the operation now here. So this will be 27, right? And 3 to the power of 2, 9 times 4, 36. OK, what about this one? So this one will be 1 times 3, 4, plus s is 2, 2 times 3, 4. So 1 times 3, 4, that will be 3, 4, right? And 2 times 3, 4, that will be, so 2 squared, that's 4. 4 times 3 is 12, right? And 4 times 4 is 16. So we are getting 15, 20. OK, here we are. Those two are not the same this one and this one. So this is not the same as this. Hence, this is not a vector field. OK, let us ask some questions here now. Is um, the real numbers over the rational numbers. Is this a vector field? And what about the real numbers over the integers? And what about the real numbers over the complex numbers? So the real numbers over the rational numbers? Yes, because the rationals are a subfield of the real numbers, right? So this one, yes, this is a vector space. What about the real numbers over the integers? Well, of course not, because the integers uh, is not a field, OK? For instance, there is no inverse for 2. Uh, um, 
multiplicative inverse. Okay, so um, okay. What about the reals over the complex numbers? No, because the complex numbers is not a subfield of the reals. If you have any problem with these fields and subfields, please check my other lists on abstract algebra or field theory, maybe field theory. Okay, let us ask the same questions. What about the complex numbers over the real numbers? Is this a vector space? Well, yes, of course it is. What about the complex numbers over the rational numbers? Is this a vector field? Yes, because the rationals are also a subfield of the complex. Okay, what about the complex over the integers? Well, the integers are not a field. Okay, so uh, this is not a, a vector space. What about the complex over the complex? So the complex number, so you take vectors from the concept. Okay, you take u and v, the vectors, from the complex numbers. And you take the scalars also from the complex numbers. Is this a vector field? Yes, because uh, every field is a vector space over itself. Well, in order to give something a bit uh, different, what about, for instance, Z7 over, let us say, uh, Z5? Is this a vector space? Well, of course not, because um, Z5, I think you remember what Z5 is, 0, 1, 2, 3 and 4. The, is not a subfield of Z7, right? Where you have two, 6, right? Because the operations are different, right? For instance, 2 plus 3 here in Z5, 2 plus 3, we're getting 0, right? I'm going to write mod, mod 5. Okay? This. I like this notation, but it might be confusing. Okay, 2 plus 3 is equal to 0 uh, in Z5, right? But 2 plus 3 is 5 in Z7, right? So Z7 is not a vector space over uh, Z5. 